The Britannic would never get to see her destiny as an opulent passenger liner. World War I would intervene and change her fate. Her sister ship, the Olympic, was conscripted as a troop vessel to carry soldiers to the front. But because Britannic was still under construction, the Admiralty decided to turn her into a hospital ship. This was a ship that was not supposed to be bombed or torpedoed. This was a ship on a mission of mercy. It would be in November 22, 1916, when she would be going back to the front to pick up another load of wounded soldiers when there was a massive explosion. And within 55 minutes, Britannic would sink and go to the bottom of the Kia Channel. For nearly 60 years, the wreck of Britannic laid forgotten at the bottom of the Kia Channel until the father of modern scuba diving, Jacques Cousteau, steamed into the area on board the Calypso. His work was bringing him to some older archaeological sites, and he decided to go look for Titanic's missing sister, and he found her. In 1975, Jacques Cousteau made a series of dives using the Surcouf, his two-man submarine. He was the first person to see the Britannic since the day she was lost. In order to dive Britannic, Cousteau had to nearly invent everything his team was using. He borrowed heavily from commercial and military divers, but even the equipment on their backs he had to design and build. In those tanks, he filled them with Trimix, and the divers would only be able to spend 15 minutes underwater, of which five minutes would be spent descending down to the shipwreck. That only gave them 10 minutes of working bottom time to explore and image the ship. For that, they had to do two and a half hours of decompression, where they would ascend through the water column, get inside a diving bell, and then that diving bell would bring them up and onto the deck of Calypso, where they would do the bulk of their decompression. I wanted to first dive Britannic because, as a kid, I was fascinated by Cousteau. I watched the early Cousteau video on that, and I think it just kind of blew me away. I also knew it would be difficult. I knew at the time it, it was out there. Um, the logistics weren't going to be easy. The Greek government wasn't going to be easy. We were going to meet a whole lot of challenges and I kind of like doing that sort of thing. So I think that was the reason for me to go. Twenty sixteen is the one hundred year anniversary of the sinking of Britannic, and we've had this unique opportunity for the last two years to work with the U Group on board the Navigator. It's never been far from my mind the parallels from forty years ago when Cousteau came to Britannic, and he brought submarines and diving bells, and he was moored here, imaging the wreck. And here we are, forty years later with a little more advanced submarines and diving bells, but doing it just like he did. You look at all of this technology that they had in the water, two submersibles, an ROV, the diving bell, and of course inside everything that they would need not only to image underwater, but to make it safe for divers, including a decompression chamber. This seemed like something out of science fiction, but no, it was actually science fact. Mm -hmm. 